How's it going, everybody, and welcome to the first Halloween episode of Alien Isolation. Now, uh, I got this game a while back. I was hoping to play it uh, full stream. Now, if you all want to see this, uh, I'm actually skip this. I'm, I'm assuming there's probably something copyright music on here. So, we're just going to skip this. But yeah, if you want to see a full series of Alien Isolation, let me know. Because I want to play it, but I figured since it's Halloween, I'm going to go ahead and do it now. Just to get a couple episodes out. But if you want more, hit me up down below. We think we may have found her, Amanda. Yay! <laughs> a commercial vessel. Mother Ripley. An Isadora has recovered what we believe to be the flight recorder unit of the Nostromo. Where? I've been meaning to play this game for some time. I actually had it on a list before, but it didn't win enough votes for uh, being played. The unit was taken to Sevastopol Station. I believe I was playing Mad Max instead. Another movie game. So the company wants it to be collected as soon as possible. Sevastopol's a supply depot. I'm probably going to do about three or four episodes ahead of time. But like I said, if y'all want more episodes of this, hit me up down in the comment section. And let me know you want more episodes. There's a courier ship called the Torrens <coughs> heading out that way in two days. We're going to travel out. Now, it probably looks a lot lighter for you, but I got all the lights off. I got two blue lights on to try to give it a little light on my face. But to you all, it's probably going to look bright, look, quite look, bright. But I'm going to have to enhance the lighting on this. I read the case history. I do love the fact, just like the movie, the outfits kind of match the timeline in which the movie was made. And for the uh, screenshots I've seen, uh, the tech is just like it was in the movies, where it still feels like it's 1970s, 1980s future tech, and I love it. offer you a place on the torrents if you want to come along. Details like her ripped collar, like they are really nice too. I mean, we're going to be inside her head. We're never going to get to see that again. But it's really cool just to know it's there. And geez, the detail on her face was pretty amazing as well. I got to hand it to these uh, game designers. They do a great job when it comes to details. And I'm not going to lie, I'm a little nervous about the Xenomorph. Because that's some details I don't want to see. Chances are I'm going to throw myself at the first one just to die and just to get it over with. That way the fear of being killed straight up out is going to be gone. Not that there won't still be, you know, oh crap, did I save a few minutes ago kind of thing. Hello, underwear. I'm a pretty lady. Alright. Hmm. Everything seems a little graphically wonky. I don't know if that's supposed to be, or... Hmm. Alright. I don't like that. Give me a second to see if I can adjust a few features here. Alright, I am back. I got rid of motion blur because... Screw that junk. <laughs> Feels a lot better now for me. Also knocked down the graphics a little bit, so... Didn't seem as intense. I like that little sumo character. <laughs> Jeez, look at that old game system. That is awesome. The fact that it's an old game system in the future. <laughs> it's all Fallout feeling. I love how that reminds me so much of the Fallout series. Which, if you don't know, I've already been doing uh, Fallout 1. I'm almost, as of this recording, I think I'm about maybe one or two recordings from finishing the game. So that's good to know. I feel like that's the direction I need to head. Well, maybe not. This got suits. Er. Actually, this is pretty awesome looking. It's like some space. Uh... <laughs> I want to say Shogun armor with the uh, shoulder pieces, but I know that's not quite right. Feels very out of place, and I like it. I guess sells a break room. Oh, cool! I can actually use the shower. 
Well, I'm clean. I want to use the toilet. I've been in cryo sleep. Don't make me hold it while dealing with aliens. Now I think about it, I probably should actually use the real bathroom. Oh, cool. I didn't know I was even supposed to go here. I gotta make sure I don't spend all this recording time just looking at the environment. I would, I will totally do that. Oh, that's how you save the game. Oh, that's cool. It's like an old payphone. Well, it shouldn't really be anything in here anyway, unless it's the startup save data. Oh wow, I can already start taking stuff. I'm raiding a ship, and there's not even a disaster yet. Heck yeah, I'll steal everything I can from this ship. Get a uh, heads up on the survival aspect of this game. Wait a minute. Alright, gotta keep an eye out for green bins. I will rob the F out of this place, given the option. Someone comes in here later. What happened to all my private stuff? It's mine now! I licked it, therefore it's mine! <laughs> yeah, take all that junk. You're gonna wonder why this ship isn't gonna work later, because I took all the good stuff out of it. <laughs> Go on to scrap all the power suits. It's like, I can't float anymore! Why don't I have directional control? Sorry, I needed the parts! Oh, this is reminding me of the end of the first Aliens movie when they... Uh, she put on the suit and sucked the alien into space. Which one is the way I'm supposed to go? I want to go the opposite. We'll go this way. Man, I'm loving the detail. Unfortunately, I'm not seeing much scaring going on. Oh, hello. Um, is this where I'm not supposed to be? Because that's exactly where I want to be. Good morning. <gasps> Hippo! Good. I very much doubt it's morning. Thirst. I feel like Look at those cassettes! Oh, that's so cool! Put up with hypersleep regularly. You get used to it. I don't do long here very often. Most legal execs don't travel further than the coffee machine. I'm surprised Wayland Yutani felt the need to send legal at all. The loss of the Nostromo and its cargo cost the company a lot of money. It's important we find That'll out happen. If I can close the case with a conclusive accident report, that is a lot of cereal. Porridge oats, brain flakes. Your mother has been missing for fifteen years, and you. It's okay. Samuels, did you wake up early? Well, I don't really need as much sleep as the rest of you. I was just inspecting the Torrance facilities, a well-maintained ship. 
I realize it's a very similar model to Minestromo. Yes, M class. A later pattern, but close in spec. I've worked engineering jobs on ships like this. Of course. Is Taylor up yet? She's not a seasoned traveler. Hypersleep may have been punishing for her. We talked. She seems nervous. Hmm. I hadn't noticed. She's a skilled executive, though. Should help us with any legal issues we might encounter. All personnel to the bridge. Approaching Sebastopol Station. Looks like we're up. You all had a restful journey? The Torrens is in very good order for an old M-Class captain. She was a wreck when I bought her. Took a few years and a lot of contracts to refit. She pays for herself now. You said we're approaching Sevastopol Station. Are we docking? I believe your contact is Marshal Waits, is that right? I'll hail Sevastopol and arrange boarding with him. Good. Let's get this done. Don't worry, Miss Taylor. Routine. In and out. Connor, how we doing? SMG loaded and calibrated. Approach vector locked. Prep comm so I can say hello. Channel open, Captain. Does everyone have their briefing documents? You can watch the approach on the monitors. Can we see it? Switch to monitors. Sevastopol Station. Is that damage? It looks like damage. Punch up 74, tight angle. Looks like the dry dock bay is screwed. I can't bring the Torrens into that. This is a commercial vessel, Torrens out of St. Clair, registration number MSV7760, calling Sebastopol Traffic Control. We're carrying three passengers on a whaling... Yutani Bond, you're holding the Nostromo flight recorder unit. We request immediate permission to transfer the passengers portside over. <laughs> This is the Torrent. Say again. The station's comms seem pretty screwed up, so I fitted Samuel's suit with a radio booster. I can only keep the Torrents in transit for 24 hours. You'll have heard from us by then. Safe trip. Stand by. My contract doesn't cover bloody spacewalks. It's the only option. And it's perfectly safe if you do what I tell you. Depressurizing. Oh, fuck. Hating this. Just shout on me, Taylor. You too, Samuels. Affirmative. What happened here? 
my god, Ripley. You're doing good, Tim. Just keep moving! Taylor Ripley, hold on!
das Weib. anything here work. Turner, get back here now. We have a track somewhere in engineering. Lock the terminal down, kill the power, and don't forget your reports. Make them thorough. We're gonna need our paperwork to be bulletproof when this shit's over. Wait up.
happened here? Jones, today's update. After numerous demands, Marshall Waits finally called a public meeting to address the rumors that have been circulating on Sevastopol. 
But instead of the answers we wanted, he continued to be evasive, and after only a few minutes, he and his team were pelted by projectiles from an angry crowd. A gun was fired, there was panic, and now Waits and what's left of his team are forcibly ejecting us from the terminal. Feels like we're on our own now. This whole damn place is falling apart. It's gotta be the exit up ahead.
This time, he nearly wrecked the door with a maintenance jack. Guess he figures it's safe here. Wants to lock himself in. Screw him. We got too much to worry about without babysitting drunks. Anyway, I threw him in the evidence lockup. Let the son of a bitch sleep it off. Watson. That's Watson. You get that? My complaint is this. The fucking marshals. They should be protecting us. It's their job. I think I need this more than you do. Sometimes I'm in a station with us and no one knows what it is. No one fucking knows. They put braces on the doors. Locked out. You know, like to keep something out. I'm fucking terrified, man.
subject. Heist. Did I say that right? Heist? Look, if you can't even tell me your name, we're gonna be here a hell of a long time. I just wanna know about your boss. He's got you all into a lot of trouble. Someone's gonna be accountable. I'm gonna make damn sure someone's accountable. No? Tough guy, huh? Turner, turn off the tape. Maybe our friend here is just shy. Ripley. Where'd you come from? Ripley. Off station. A ship. There's no ships here. There are now. Well, huh, that's good news. Because things are not so good here. Something blue just now. Rocked this whole place. I saw it. But lady, that's the least of our problems. Yeah? Yeah. Something's on this station. Like what? A killer. You get it? Okay. Okay. What's your name? Axel. I was boarding with two colleagues. EVA. We got separated by the blast. Can you help me find them? Why? Because you seem to know your way around. I don't have time for it. Why? What's in it for me? Placed on the ship. How do I know I can trust you? I need to find comms. 
I need to contact my ship. Let's go, sweetheart. Seek some comms is in the Sistex Bio. It's quite a distance, but we can get to a transit through the freight area. But watch yourself. We can get into all sorts of trouble there. Okay? Come on, I don't want to stick around here long. Is that you following me back there? Had to keep my distance. Can't take any chances. Inquisitive type, eh? Stay close to me. What? Hey, don't move. Just some assholes. We haven't got time for this. Come on, Jana. We're trying to get to comms. Can you help us? We don't need their help. Don't tell them anything. Look, I've got the elevator working. Jana, let's go, okay? I... I'm sorry. Good luck. Ship of yours with the real McCoy. Hold up. Let me get the elevator. Allow me. This is all. Needs a special touch. appreciate it if you told me what the hell was going on, right now. Listen, ma'am. When we get to the ship, we can kick back, braid each other's hair, and chat all you want. Yeah, when we get to my ship. I need to know what's going on, right fucking now. Fine. Like I said, there's a killer. A killer? What does that even mean? I ain't seen it, but it's here. Picking us off one by one. What are you saying? A psycho? A person? No, something else. A monster. to move this way get down this is bullshit man you should be looking for a way off are you crazy there's no way off at least we're safe down here for how long what if they come for us then we shoot the crap out of them now shut up you're making me nervous my friend said he saw us so thank you for getting out but we can't we just won Trouble. We'll have to go around them. Follow me. Place that feels like a graveyard, huh?
friends of yours? I've had run-ins with those guys before. They don't like strangers, even nice guys like me. I'm shocked. I ain't pulling your chain, darling. You want to go and say hello? It's your funeral. Those guns aren't for show. Someone should be doing something. They are. It's called surviving. Everyone's turning on each other. The fear, it makes people crazy. I've noticed. You've been living here? What can I say? My butler's on holiday. Grab what you need. You don't know when you'll get another chance. Been hunkered down here for a week now, waiting for a ship. Waiting for you, I guess. It can get pretty dark around here. You should take that flashlight over there. Make sure you're stocked up on batteries. Come on, what are you waiting for? Pick up the flashlight. Just be careful not to flash it around. We don't want to get caught. Let's go. <laughs> 